Welcome back to Daytime York Region. Today we continue our Green Week uh, as we gear up for the Windfall Ecology Festival happening June 7th and 8th at Fairy Lake in Newmarket. Uh, Laurel Shapton is here. She's telling us about Well Aware and she's a Well Aware coordinator. We also welcome Joanne Nesbitt, the Energy Program Assistant for Windfall Ecology Center. And uh, Roy Scadalero. Did I say that right, Roy? Yeah, pretty close. Pretty close. Uh, he's here today from York Region Community and Health Services. He's a health inspector. Before we get started, Joanne, tell us how the Well Aware program fits into, into our Green Week this week. Well, uh, water is the most essential thing we have on our planet next to our trees. They tie in together. Without the water, the trees can't survive. Without the trees, we can't survive. Mm. So our Well Aware program is very, very important. Um, York Region has a lot of wells. Um, it's very important to maintain the quality of the water that you have in your well. Uh, for your own physical good, plus the fact that uh, if you don't maintain your well, it can leak out into the ground around it. So the Well Aware program is actually developed to make sure that homeowners, uh, property owners, do maintain their wells. Mm -hmm. It is a free program offered by the, uh, the region, so uh, you'd give Laurel a call. She'll send someone out, they'll do a well testing, she can tell you the details on that. And we just want to make sure that it's safe for the, the community as well as the fact that it's not leaking out into the water table as well. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do. We try to make everything good and safe for everybody. Now these are people that would contact you um, when they're purchasing a home, um, those that already have an existing home, but hey, I haven't checked out the well lately, yeah, wanna let's see exactly. the, the we get quality. A, yeah, we get a lot of, a wide variety of people that call us. Um, a lot of the times with the real estate, yeah. um, a lot of new homeowners, especially that are moving from the city up to York Region, um, as Joanne said, there's over, in Ontario alone, there's over uh, 750,000 wells, um, and about 500,000 of those are not properly maintained or need to be commissioned. Um, so when people buy a new home, a lot of the times they have no idea what they're coming into. They don't know what this well is or a septic system. They have a lot of questions and, and need to be informed. And there are other times people will come to York Region Health Unit with a bad water sample up from their well and will need to understand why they have this bad water sample. So that's where we come in um, with our guided well assessments, with our certified well guides, to come in and do a free assessment uh, with the homeowner, teach them and guide them into mm -hmm how to better maintain their well, if they need to upgrade their well, who to contact, and where to get information from. And how long is this uh, process? Like, what's involved in the assessment? Yeah, how what's involved in the assessment? Once, um, once a homeowner has made an appointment, so they would give the center a call, Windfall. Um, they would book an appointment with me, with one of our well guides. One of our well guides would go out. The assessment's about an hour and a half long. Um, and with the well owner, they would survey the, the well itself, the area surrounding the well, as well as the, the septic area and come with the well owner, come up to some conclusions about, okay, what could be causing this issue, whether it be a, a, a proper casing is not on the well, uh, the well um, cap needs to be replaced, um, issues around the well, say there's leaking oil coming in, that mm -hmm. type of thing, contaminants um, that need to be addressed. So together with the, the, the well owner, they'll come up with some solutions. How, does the actual, um, how is the actual sample collected? How do you do that? Well, if you're, if you're a resident of York Region, you can uh, pass by the, any of the health units. We have three different offices, one in uh, Markham, Richmond Hill, and one in Newmarket. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, come into the office, we'll pick up a bottle. It's a sample bottle such as this, and it comes with the appropriate uh, documentation, uh, which shows the address. Uh, there's a locator system on there that you have to put on. Um, and on there, uh, there's two methods of reporting to you. Uh, so what you do, you come in, get the bottle, bring it home, and ideally, you should take the sample from a source that you're using a lot of water at, at one time. So usually that would be the kitchen. Now, we don't advise you to take it from the bathroom. That's uh, mm -hmm. there's a, it's a misconception on that. Uh, but take it from the kitchen. And before you take the sample, we advise you to uh, sanitize the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, your spout on your uh, faucet. Okay. Uh, two methods. One is flaming. That we don't recommend. Uh, usually faucets nowadays have a plastic membrane or a rubber membrane. By doing that, you might melt it. Mm -hmm. uh, so use an isopropyl alcohol uh, pad such as this, wipe it, let the water run for a minute or so. Uh, or another ideal method is wait till it's, the water's cold. Once the water's cold, it'll indicate that the water's coming directly from your well. So and that's where you really want to find out uh, whether your well is fine or not. Uh, then what you do, I want you to wash your hands before you take the sample. Again, these samples are very sensitive. So at the lab, anything will, you know, anything will show up on it. 
So wash your hands before you do it. Roll up your sleeves. You don't want anything to get in. Um, so open the cap. And when you do that, you hear a click. That means it was sealed properly. And then I want you to, to uh, put under, underneath the tap, uh, fill it up to the line here, the 200 uh, milliliter line, and then close the cap immediately, refrigerate it, and then bring it to the health unit. And what's the turnaround there? When, when do we find out? Oh, so uh, the, inf the reporting, uh, there's two methods. One yeah. is immediate, which is uh, within two days. Uh, okay. There's a card that you fill out uh, on there. There's a barcode that you write down. You call the lab within two days, and you get the result verbally on the line. And also, you get, you get the results two weeks uh, later on uh, via the mail. Mm. Could we get a verbal um, in two days? With, yeah, that's correct. You I mean, I'm thinking about a real estate transaction, if it's conditional on testing the quality of the water. Yeah, you mentioned that you've... previously also. Uh, usually, we have people come in, they have those questions, they're buying a property, and the bank uh, is requesting them to get something certified regarding their well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, we find that those, cert those certificates that you get back uh, are sufficient enough for them to finish off the deal. Before we go, Joanne, we have some tickets to give away to our viewers. Excellent. Uh, what are they for? These are for the, the Windfall Ecology uh, Trash Fashion uh, Awards and Design Program. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a show coming up next week, Thursday. It is Second City Cabaret going to be doing their little stint going on. We have live music. We've got great food coming in and our trash fashion uh, items, which are, are really quite fun and a lot of... Um, it, it puts a different twist on what you can do with recycled items. Yeah. So uh, we have some tickets available for the, the viewers, and we're delighted to have them come and uh, see what we do. Very good. It's at Madsen's Greenhouse in Newmarket next Thursday uh, evening. Give us an email, daytime.yorkregion at rci.rogers.com, and the first people to email us can take away some tickets to the Greenhouse Gas Cabaret. We'll be right back with more on Daytime.